What is the brain healthiest oil to use in the kitchen, Dr. Isaacson? Ooh. I'd love to get your opinion on this too, Max. You've said this food is medicine. I, I literally tell my patients to drink extra virgin olive oil. I, it's, it's, it sounds silly, but extra virgin olive oil has substances in it that actually fight the tau protein. Tau is again, a protein that builds up in the brain of a person with Alzheimer's. There's this amyloid in tau and there's different proteins. Olive oil is like the highest octane fuel that can be protective on brain health. Max, if you had to choose an oil, what would you say? I would have to agree with that. Fully. It's anti-inflammatory, actually randomized control trials show, which is really powerful evidence. And it's the staple oil. It's the only oil actually recommended by the mind diet, which is a variant of the Mediterranean diet with added specifically brain healthy foods. Gotcha. And I said drinking it because I, and actually I wasn't kidding. Now you don't have to drink bottles of it, but you drink a shot glass of it or add it to salad. Honestly, I add it to like everything. We have olive oil in our house all the time and I put olive oil in everything. What about cooking with it, Max? There's the smoke point issue and, and putting olive oil in a pan. How does that change things? What do you recommend? How do you intake olive oil? I've spoken to many olive oil experts and it's a myth that you can't cook with it. You actually can cook with it. In fact, they do cook with it in Mediterranean countries. Historically, traditionally, and it is very heat stable up to uh, a medium temperature, you could say. So as long as you're not burning the oil, as long as you don't see it smoking, it's actually a very heat stable oil to cook with. And it's a much better option because cooking with it is a way to integrate it into your diet as compared to other highly marketed oils that you might see ads for on TV.